Cognac continues to be an authentic distilled spirits success story. It is the most prized brandy of all because it is so remarkably complex. Available in over 160 countries, Cognac's largest market is the United States. Americans are lucky enough to have over 49 million bottles of Cognac shipped to them every year from the producers who have practiced their trade in the France's Charente River Basin since at least the 16th century. Sales records from 1549 from a merchant in the port town of La Rochelle depict the sale of four barrels of eau de vie, wholesome and fit for sale. By the 1570s, eau de vie merchants existed, and by the early 17th century, sales of cognac brandy were vigorous and common in Paris and London. Eau de vie, by the way, is French for water of life. The 17th century vineyards of districts like Borderies and the Champagnes were dotted with vineyards devoted mostly to sweet wines. Following a severe frost in 1766 that damaged the vineyards, Bordeaux sweet wine rivals Barzac and Sauterne took the lead in French dessert wines, vanquishing the Charente Basin vineyards in that arena. But something better lay ahead for the vineyards of the Charente Basin, something that would make them universally renowned. Distillation is based upon the simple principle that water boils at a higher temperature than alcohol. So by boiling wine at approximately 175 degrees, the water remains in the wine while the alcohol vaporizes and can be captured and recondensed into a higher proof liquid. Stills will therefore include a chamber for boiling the wine as well as a tube that allows the alcohol vapor to flow into a condensing chamber. That tube has sometimes been called a col de senia or swan's neck because some tubes have a slender twisting shape similar to a swan's neck. The first copper pot stills, or alembics, were installed in the Charente district by Dutch traders who strove to concentrate the wines of the region by fortifying them with distilling spirits. The traders knew that when you either added unaged grape spirits to wine or reduced them altogether to high alcohol spirits, wines withstood the rigors of oceanic travel much better. The Dutch merchants touted their brandwines, or Dutch for burnt wine in all their export markets. Please continue reading the website text to learn more about Cognac's illustrious history. The Greater Cognac region boasts about 25,000 farms, about which 90% grow grapes. Approximately 40,000 people are involved in the Cognac industry, either as grape growers, distillers, distillery workers, coopers, glassmakers, packaging, printing, etc. The private organization of the cognac industry, the Bureau National Interprofessionnel de Cognac, or BNIC, is funded by the industry and serves a useful purpose as a communications arm. The French government deals with the cognac producers through an auditor who is assigned by the Ministry of Finance. Perhaps the most illustrious brandy blend of all, cognac labeled as fine champagne, looks like fine champagne, by law must be comprised of only eau de vie from the Petite and Grand Champagne districts. It must likewise be at least 51% Grand Champagne.